So basically, the president is, is presenting to us a false choice uh, that either we support this Iran deal uh, and we go to war or we fund terrorism. And it's probably easier to, to support this deal and have them get the have them have nuclear capability at a slower pace. Uh, that does not seem to be a logical choice. No, uh, thank you for having me on the program. It's mm -hmm. not a choice at all. In fact, if you think about what he said today in one of these news releases, he basically said, yes, if we give them money, we know it will go to terrorism, but it's worse than, it's better than nuclear war. But think about what he just said. He's basically acknowledging that we're giving money to a, a still to some, a group we know, a, a country we know to be a terror state, and he knows that money will go to terrorism. We have federal laws today that make it criminal to to provide material support to terrorism. I mean, this is just, this is just, it's crazy. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I was remarking to uh, some friends earlier, we have, I don't, I mean, because the economic times are tough, we have people who are standing in the aisles at supermarkets, Stephen, and they're saying, I'd love to get this box of Fruit Loops, but you know what, because I gotta save money for tax, you know, taxes, et cetera, I'm gonna go ahead and get Fruitios. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and settle for my family. I'm gonna buy, we spend more on taxes than we do on clothes and food in the United States, and this money is going to support, now we're not only giving them top of the line, helping them buy top of the line centrifuges, helping them go nuclear, paying the money in addition to lifting sanctions, but now we're also aiding and abetting them in funding terror. That seems I um, I don't even know, I don't even have words. At least they're honest about it. I guess that's the only upside. I don't know if that's an upside. Well, you know, it's very funny. The Iranians have been completely clear about what they think about these negotiations. So from their side, it's almost hard to fault them. It's it's this rather strange language we have today that we're allowed to talk about a treaty that's not a treaty mm -hmm. that commits us to uh, allowing them to establish themselves as a nuclear power. But you know, one of the things in this treaty is that we commit ourselves to defending them if they are attacked or their nuclear capabilities are attacked. Well, that means today we are in a state of uh, declared hostility in any future event where, for example, Israel might decide right. to take action to stop this. Because, so, I mean, people say, well, that could happen. And my, my response is, that's crazy. We are make, we're making that commitment today. Right. And you, you just take a look at all the things that are going on. You almost think that our total foreign policy has been reduced to a complete state of incomprehension.